for doing this, Eric. I really needed to get out of the house, and now I really need a drink. Is that going to be awkward for you? I know that you don't drink anymore. It's fine. Hey, please grab a seat. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. It does, because something happened to make you say this, and I, and I want you to tell me what it is. So Will and Sonny are in love again. Oh, wow. And how did Paul take it when you told him? I mean, he kept it together in front of me, but I think he was pretty ripped up inside. I'm sorry, I know it must have been hard, but you told the truth and it would have come out sooner or later. It's better that it was now than later. You know what I wish? I wish that I would have told Eric the truth about Nicole. But I didn't. I didn't because I was selfish and I was a coward about it. And now Nicole isn't here anymore. I mean, I, I mean Chloe, I took it away from not only Eric, but her, her daughter family, friends. Everyone's gonna gonna hate me. I mean, hell, you were her best friend. I wouldn't blame you if you hated me. This is my grandpa's reserve Irish whiskey. You said it cures all the ailed you. Mm. Even his jerk of a grandson, Rex? I know. I know he's your half-brother, but it's true. Rex Brady is a lying, cheating, no-good son of a bitch. Huh. Well, wonder what that makes me.
It's me. There you are. Hey, you skipped out on dinner, and I made your favorite. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was um, just taking a walk to try and clear my head. Oh, honey, not a problem, since I'm such an amazing...